Here's a house with a guest list that spans only the most elite from Hollywood royalty and abroad. This Bel Air estate has been the home of one big screen legend for over 30 years. Today we're at uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor's famous, in, famous and infamous Bel Air mansion. A beautiful promontory here on an acre 0.5 at the top of Bel Air. Uh, one of the prime locations on one of the best streets, you know, Bel Air Road, overlooking both downtown Los Angeles and the ocean and Bel Air to the west. The home also has a famous past. According to Zsa and her book, this was once the home of Howard Hughes. Um, Elvis Presley apparently also, according to her, lived here for a number of years in the 70s. This house is very unique in the sense, first of all, it's a 1950s Hollywood French Regency style, which is a very unique architectural style in the style of John Wolfe, John Elgin Wolfe, that was a very famous architect in the 50s and 60s that did a lot of Hollywood French Regency homes. As you come into the grand French doors, you are greeted by the ruby red formal entryway. It's kind of fun because as you walk in off to the right, there are two secret compartment doors that are hidden behind the walls. They actually look like just the walls with moldings, but they're actually secret doors. And according to Zsa, Zsa that's where Howard Hughes would hide out. Once you're in the main entryway, which is the oval entry room, which is very special in the sense, first of all, it is antique 19th century bronze doré sconces, a beautiful, large, and impressive French antique chandelier in the center of the room. It has fluted columns, about six or seven, or six or eight of them around the room as well. And again, a really unique oval shape. And it also has basically five sets of double French doors in the French style. A straight door right off the center into the main reception room. Uh, and then a set of French doors to the left, which is into the uh, Grand Salon. And then another set of French doors to the right into the formal dining room. And then two additional sets of French doors off the, each side of the hallway, which go into the master bedroom wing and to the guest wing and the staff wing off to the right. The foyer and sunroom with a glass wall that raises to reveal a remarkable view of downtown. It's a main room that is actually in the center of the main reception room. So it's the main reception room the, uh, of the house. It's a very large room with beautiful kind of bleached wood, um, wood walls with boiserie details, meaning moldings. And the walls and cabinetry are all basically built in where when the bookshelves are open and the bar is open, it pops open like little secret panels. And you close it off and to the untrained eye, you would walk in and just simply think, there were wall details and wall moldings and, and sconces. It has beautiful antique sconces. It has a 19th century French marble fireplace. And one of my favorite features is all of the French Regency style moldings all around the walls with the shell motif and the Regency moldings and little patterns all around the entire perimeter of the room, which is very unique and very rare. And you see a lot of moldings, but you very rarely see Regency-style moldings with the shell motif, which is a very cool feature. The formal dining room that has hosted glamorous events over the past three decades. In any great home, you have to have a really fantastic and elegant, entertaining dining room. This one has that. It's about the same size as the Grand Salon. It's a huge room. And once again, this particular room overlooks the city and downtown city lights. So it's great to be sitting there at night having a dinner party overlooking with the city essentially at your footstep. And the fun part of the dining room is Frederick and Jaja have told me stories about having dinner parties with the King and Queen of England at one part, the Reagans at another part, and Frank Sinatra, and Elizabeth Taylor, and Michael Jackson, if only one walls could talk in this house. The backyard has a 280 degree view of the city, canyons, and ocean. The whole back of the house is a nice outdoor terrace in beautiful brick with a beautiful French style pool. And when I say French style pool, I mean a pool in the style of the traditional fountains at Versailles or the chateaus in France. Typically a rectangular shape with a half moon on each end, so very traditional European style. This $15 million home is a chance for any buyer to own a part of Hollywood history. The name just about every person who was a who's who in the last 30 years has probably been here to a party or to dinner or for drinks with Jaja and her beautiful estate.